Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to apply chain rule to find a derivative. To complete this problem, we'll identify inside and outside functions, take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function untouched, and then multiply our result by the derivative of the inside function. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to find the derivative of the function y equals cosine of the quantity a cubed plus x cubed. And in this problem, we should assume that a is a constant. It's not another variable like x, it's a constant. So you could almost imagine it as a real number like 2. And if a were 2, then you'd have 2 cubed here and it would be 8. And you could treat this whole thing as a constant 8. So let's just keep in mind that a is a constant. In order to take the derivative of this function here, what we're going to need to do is use chain rule. And the reason we need to use chain rule is because we have what we can identify as an outside and an inside function. If we just had the function y equals cosine of x, we know that the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The inside here is x, so it's just negative sine of x and we don't have to think through it really any further. In this case, we have something more complicated inside of our cosine function here, and so we can't just say that the derivative is negative sine of the quantity a cubed plus x cubed. We have to use chain rule to give special treatment to a cubed plus x cubed. So when we use chain rule, what we wanna do is evaluate an outside function and an inside function. So we'll call cosine of this whole thing here the outside function. The inside function will be specifically a cubed plus x cubed. And when we talk about outside functions and inside functions, we're literally talking about a cubed plus x cubed is inside this cosine function here, so we can identify it as the inside function. What chain rule tells us to do to take the derivative is take the derivative of the outside function first more or less ignoring the inside function. We leave the inside function completely untouched. We pretend that it's simple, that it's just x, right? And essentially that we're taking the derivative of cosine of x and we just ignore that x, we pass right over it, we leave it alone. But in order to give special treatment to this inside function, once we've taken the derivative of that outside function, we multiply our result by the derivative of the inside. And that's what chain rule is about. It's like, you know, you can think of it as a chain connecting the derivative of each one of these functions. You're taking the outside and then linking to that the derivative of the inside, then linking to that the derivative of, you know, another nested function. These are nested functions and we're working outside in. A lot of people talk about the layers of an onion and, and peeling back the layers of an onion. But let's take the derivative of this outside function. The outside function is cosine of, we'll just call it the inside or the middle. We know that the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. So we'll say negative sine, but our x in this sense, right, is a cubed plus x squared or plus x cubed. And we're just going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it completely untouched. We're going to ignore it for now. All we were concerned about was the outside, which was negative sine here. So we leave that alone on the inside. And that's the derivative of the outside function. But chain rule tells us now, that we have to multiply our result by the derivative of the inside function. So now we're looking at just specifically a cubed plus x cubed. Pretend this cosine, this cosine isn't here because we're only looking at the inside. So what is the derivative of a cubed plus x cubed? Well, a cubed, remember, is a constant. We said earlier that we could plug in a real number for a, call it 2. We'd get 2 cubed, which would be 8. We know that the derivative of any constant is zero. So if there were an eight right here, the derivative would be zero. It doesn't matter that it's a cubed, as long as a represents a constant, that is also zero. So the derivative of a cubed will be zero. The derivative of x cubed we can take using power rule. And remember that power rule tells us to bring the exponent down in front and then subtract one from the exponent. So the derivative of x cubed would just be, and we can say, let's do this, times the quantity zero, for the a cubed, plus we'll bring that exponent down in front, so we'll get 3x, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get 3x squared. That's how power rule tells us to take the derivative of x cubed. So now we've multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. And 
we have officially applied chain rule. That's all we need to do to apply the chain rule property. Now all that's left to do for this problem is simplify the function as much as possible. And in this case, that just means moving this 3x squared to the front, so we'll get negative 3x squared times sine of a cubed plus x cubed. And that's it. That's our final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.